This game is made by our fellow Filipino, Paula Agpawa and her friends, and they are based in Cebu. Age 7 plus, 10 to 15 minutes, 2 to 5 players, and I just received this today. Um, just a fun fact. Last week, galing ako ng Cebu. <laughs> So I'd like to see the places that I visited last week here. Okay, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so the game is called Wandering, or it's a word play for Wandering. Uh, the designer said that airing is a uh, Visayan word for cats. Okay, let's open it. Let's see the box here. You can see the art. Let's zoom in there. Uh, I really love the art. It's very smooth. And this one looks very professionally made. Even though I think it is, uh, it's, it's their first game developed and published. Okay, let's look at the back of the box. Okay, so the back of the box. You have some sample cards here. Um, the components break down. You have a board, a wandering deck, five game characters, and two dice. Two dice included. And this is their Facebook page. If you like, yeah, you can order there. I think if you uh, if you can message them to order, this is their website. Yeah, uh, there's their Facebook. You can like them. Okay. So here. Wandering, circumnavigate the whole Cebu Island and Islets and be the first one to reach the metropolis. Be careful with your path as you will encounter challenges or fortune with the aid of the Wander Kitties. This edition is based on existing tourist attractions in Cebu. Okay, so there's a high chance I will see the places that I visited last week here. So this is uh, the designer, Paula Agpawa. You can follow her on Instagram, Chapit Yunsyon, and Carolyn Uy. And it's made in Cebu. We have here 2017 GNBT Creative Studio, Cebu, Philippines. So, uh, as you will notice here, the box, uh, it may look damaged, but no, it's just that's just the way it was uh, made, I think, because it's um, they're not a big company, and this is like a personal project, and I saw in their. Uh, Facebook post before they are just cutting the, the papers or the boards using scissors and other stuff like that all on their own so yeah you just I can I can let that pass I can let these kinds of things pass because I'm not expecting uh, more from them they're just uh, independent designers so let's open the box So let's look at the components here. First, we have this. This is probably a deck of card, but let's look at this first. Okay, so these are the rest of the components. We have here a thank you message. Thank you for your purchase. If you enjoyed, all right, I will. Okay, lagi ko muna sa gilid. Okay. Um, this one here looks like a game manual. It's the game manual. I'm gonna open that up later. Uh, let's set it aside for now. Okay, we have a nyan cat. This is a nyan cat. Okay, we have a cat here. Of course, we have a cat. This is a cat game. One the earring. I believe these are stickers. Um, a rocket cat. A grumpy cat. This is grumpy cat. Okay, very cute, so very cute. And we have a Purito. <laughs> okay, these are the player tokens. I'm gonna set aside the camera, so it will not be, it will not move. So let's look at the components uh, more closely. Let's look at the manual first. Tignan natin yung manual, kung how well it's made and how clear it is. So the manual is just one uh, one sheet of paper. So let's look at the manual here. Okay, game setup. We have the game setup here. The board. Uh, 
yeah it's a step-by-step -step instruction for game setup and this is how you play and yeah wow i think it's very profession professionally made okay so you will get everything you need from this uh manual alone but of course if you have more questions you can just message the designer on facebook they're very active um, okay so that's the manual very good on first look it's really really good uh, well made very professionally made and these are stickers that I showed you earlier these are the stickers and these are the player tokens so these are the tokens the player tokens and as you can see each player has different cat icons Okay, and it's made from it's made of I'm not sure if this is cardboard but it is it is a hard material almost wooden so it's not easy to bend so it's it's good again for from from the designer okay so those are the tokens those are the manual and stickers okay let's look at the dice we have green and white dice here open up we have green and white dice and oh the number one is let's say special okay it's nice maliit siya pero tama lang tama lang naman and hindi siya magaan medyo magandang quality siya okay that's nice again let's look at the card Oh, the bullet go. Okay. So these are the cards. Let's count them first. We have one, two. We have 24 cards. And they are full of cats. Let's look at them. Let's look at some of them. Okay, so these are. Yung card niya very similar siya sa Exploding Kittens, uh, which is the inspiration for for the design. Very similar, and I think the effects are also somehow the same. No, no, it's about dice and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, now, let's go to the board. Oh, we have another sticker here. So this is the map based on Cebu's tourist spots. You have the names there and I don't know if it's accurate in the in terms of placements but yeah very well done. Yun yung game, yun yung components, yun yung map, yun yung art, lahat ng components yun. Ngayon, babasahin ko yung rule and I'll try to play it with my brother and give you my thoughts on the game. How it plays or kung sulit ba or it's just a dice rolling game with, with a good art. Uh, we'll see. player game of wandering with with my group and I took some notes and here here are my thoughts on the game based on Z Garcia's target system but this is overly simplified okay so for the team the theme is cute and cool. Uh, it's about it's cats and about traveling. 
and the choice for the maps uh, a really good tourist spot in the Philippines which is Cebu a lot of really good places there to visit uh, for the art or aesthetics the art is cute and it's the game is um, basically it's very beautiful it's a gorgeous game yeah the cats the, the whole map the art is really good um, for the replayability it's a roll and move game uh, just like most roll and move game the replayability is really low it, it might get repetitive sometimes but after maybe a week or so with a new group it's really good to bring the, the game up with them it's low replayability but not boring not that tired that you will get tired of easily for the game length the game length is not 10 to 15 minutes as it says here we took like 30 to 45 minutes mainly because of one card. That card is go back to start wherein the player who drew that card um, unfortunately will have to go back to the start even if you are in the middle of the of the board or near the finish line once you draw that card you will go back to the start. For example the leading player uh, just drew that card he will just go back to the start and while the rest of the players are still on the beginning game more like starting the game over again. So that card really lengthened the game, it might have to be uh, changed or house ruled but yeah, the game length is not 10 to 15 minutes in our experience but that's just one game, maybe in the future games it will just be much faster um, I really like the combo of the movements there for example if you roll a move and you land on a, on, on a flag it will allow you to roll the dice again and if that second roll uh, lands you in a spot where there's another flag, then you, know, then you roll the dice again. So, for the ease of play, it's the game is very easy to is easy to understand. The rules are easy to understand, easy to play, and easy to learn, and easy to teach. So it's uh, overall it's so easy. It's, it's for children and casual gamers. Really, really good for children. For the tactics and strategy. Um, I might say, I have to say this, but there's really zero strategy, zero tactics there. You just roll and move and hope for the best. You hope you draw the good card, hope you roll high uh, movement. So there's really no strategy there except for uh, when you get a card, the, you have to choose who you want to get that penalty. So the, uh, other than that, there's really no strategy and tactics. But if you expect, but if you expect the game, coming into the game expecting that kind of uh, gameplay, you just roll and you don't want to think, you just want to roll, explore the map, then you will have fun, you will enjoy the game. Okay, so that's the target system. This is the good and bad based on uh, on my group and based on my opinion. The good one, the good part. The game has a good art. Uh, as I said before, uh, ever since the beginning of this video, I really love the art. Ang ganda ng art. Really good uh, quality components. Really good production. Uh, overall, aesthetically, the game is beautiful. Next, um, the, the game is fun, especially the cards. But I wish, we wish, there, there are more types of cards. There are more cards with different effects and uh, stuff like that. Maybe that's a good opportunity for an expansion. Maybe nobody knows. It's up to you. Um, next, the good part is it's good for children and casual gamers. So if you want to introduce them to board gaming uh, hobby and they are familiar with snake and ladders before and they are familiar with exploding kittens, then this is a good uh, good game for them to introduce to a, a more, uh, more board game. And then they might want to explore more and buy more local games and start collecting and then you did your job too for the board gaming community. Next, as I said before, really good production at this level. <clears throat> the level of the production of the quality of the game at this level as an indie designer is really really good. It's, it's very impressive for me. Now the bad part. Um, I must say the one of the bad part of the game is the board because most of uh, on our game um, we got confused on the board we don't know where to go because the design is quite a little uh, a little bit confusing uh, it's just the design we don't know where to go we have mistaken uh, a couple of times 
our movements. So I think that needs improvement. Next, the yeah, the, the card with a kick to kick to start card. It really lengthens the game, and it's uh, for for a casual gamer, for a new to the hobby, it's really hard to take that kind of harsh card. So it might even discourage them to play anymore because let's say give a scenario. The player is like three steps away from the finish line and he got that kick to start card and he might have to start over again. And then he, I say he that player is guaranteed defeat already. So it's really uh, let's say too harsh. That card is too hard for for, for the target players here. Um, and also, it might be bad for some, but the game is heavily luck based. There's, roll, there, there's really no strategy, you just roll and um, expect a good roll or expect a good draw. But if you came into the game expecting this kind of uh, gameplay, you will have no problem with the luck based uh, system of the game. So, yeah. Alright, so that is the unboxing, the, the playthrough and review of One Airing. Uh, if you want to buy the game, just follow, just message her on Facebook. And please encourage local designers to design more uh, local games like this one. And please, please support them. We need more stuff like this. Right. Okay, so this is Borgen Hero. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.